Hello everyone, my name is Tolani and welcome to a new video. In this new video editing tutorial, or basically for any video editor, I'm going to be showing you how to sync cuts to the beat of music, popularly known as sync montage to the music beat. It's pretty easy to do, so let me show you what it looks like. are the clips that we're gonna be working with as you can see right here I've already arranged them into a folder right here so you don't get confused I've already arranged them into a folder I'd name it footage when I close it up as you can see they are already in this from 14 so as you can see right here I've already renamed them you can as well rename by just clicking on it and come to this pencil icon to allow you to rename your clip as well but for this I've already arranged everything so you don't get confused all I just need is to bring my audio and listen to it so I can create a vision for the creativity how how I want it to work to sync to the beat. So what I'm going to be doing now is after I've arranged all the clips and I've already made a cut to the part where I like my video to play and the part which I want my video now to play, I've already trimmed them out, which I've already made tutorial about how you can trim and cut. You can find links to it in the video description. So what you're going to be doing now is to what close this folder up right here and bring in the what the audio we want to what we want to sync all our clips into by just come down to this and click on the plus icon then go to the media don't click on the video don't click on image don't click on extract unless you have audio from video that you want to extract all you want to do is to load from file this will allow you to bring in audio files so we're going to look for the file for the audio file which is what the chase i'm going to click on it and bring it into the world into my timeline right here as you can see this is the audio file and as well this is it's going to show you this audio file as you can see this waveform right here you can as well zoom it so you can see everything properly in the in the wave format so what you want to do is to what is to create a mark point on this wave point right here which is very simple to create so you can able to what to sync your footage or your montage if you call it montage so you can be able to sync your video clips or montage directly and automatic onto the what onto the beat so everything can look more professional so what you want to do is what make sure you zoom this out a little bit make sure you zoom your timeline a little bit at this spot right here you can as well zoom it to the extent where you see the wave format clearly so you can see where the beats have a peak so what we want to do is what we want to listen to this music beat so we can understand what vibes and what what direction of creativity we can what we can sync our clip onto and get the actual sync we want so we want to play this beat right and see how we can work, work with it so before you play the clips you want to come down to this stopwatch icon right here which is allow which will allow you to create the mark point so you want to click on it to open and as you can see the wave mark right here is same thing as what you are seeing right here but this will allow you to see it clearly and when you zoom it up a little bit you can see it even more clearly as you can see but you can leave it at this spot right here so we want to listen to the beat so we can have the vision and now we want our video clips to sync properly into the board into the beat so we're going to play it and see so let's stop it right there so as you can see we we are able to understand what the beat and what and how we want our cuts to, to place on the beat so that is why you need to listen to the beat so you can have a vision for the for the creativity and understand how you want the word to sync to be whether you want to edit your cut to a fast beat that is how you as well you can actually listen so you can listen to it so you understand as you can see when i'm listening to this beat right here i'm seeing at this spot right here at this peak right here let me let's go back a little bit right here so when we play it back and you can see at this spot right here we can see there is a huge beat impact at this spot right here which kind of create a creativity on our head that we can cut a bit onto this part where the what where the beat has an impact which is how you can what sync your montage to music beat so what we want to do now is what is just to make is just to bring your timeline towards this aspect where the beat has a peak and what and had this keyframe right here as you can see this keyframe is a marker you are marking the point so you can uh, continue you, you continue doing that since you are seeing the wave format clearly whichever beat clips you are using whenever you want to add the marker just make sure you zoom your timeline so you can see everything properly as well you understand so we want to continue doing that i'm just come down to this and i see this point as well since i've already listened to the beat so i understand what the uh, these are the peak where the beat has a great impact 
so i'm gonna be hiding it as you can see it's very easy and very simple whenever i'm doing this i feel like i was i'm just playing but it's a project as you can see it's very simple to do so what i wanna what i want you to as well to understand is that you don't want to make sure you don't want to but continue hitting on this point because it's not going to making it look more professional because people is going to be what it's not going to be what predicting what the video montage is all about so it's not going to be holding too much attention you have you can what you can as well skip a point as well so you can you can make it more look more professional as you can see i'm going to skip this point because i have another point right here that is going to give me a great impact when i was sync my video onto it so as, as that's how you can just continue doing it and just adding it so this marker as well so once you add this all this marker right here i don't want the i don't want this video to be long so you just continue adding the marker and continue depend on what your video clips right but I, I think i have 14 clips so i'm just i can just continue doing that and add it towards that point so as you can see i have this point right here so let me just skip all of this and just zoom it to this part right here as you can see right here i'm having this bit and this my keyframe which is my marker on this beat point right here so which is very awesome so when we play it back you're going to see that my beat as you can see all my marker are exact on that point where the beat is hitting the high pit as you can see i mix a point right here you can as well adjust when you you can as well add it or you can as well delete a point if you don't like the part so you can as well add it so now you have already had all this marker to your audio as you can see right here you can as well come back as well and continue adding it if you want if you like you can so you can come back and continue adding it to the to the parts where you want it to where you want your video clips to match to the beat to the beat as well you can continue as well so this is how you can hold mark so now we've had all the all this marker so what then are we going to be using this marker for what we're going to be using this marker for is to open up our what our video clip right here as you can see these are all our video clips then click on this drop down so you can bring your what you can bring the timeline for the what for all the video clip right here as you can see so once you have all this so you're gonna scroll so all you want to do now is to drag on this on this your audio clips and drag it bring it into the folder where all the video is as well as you can see it's now in the folder when i close this folder up as you can see when, when i open it up so what i want to do now is to open this folder up right here and bring this timeline drop down so now all your what all your video is now in the what in the timeline as you can see this is a timeline and when you scroll down you see your what you see the video bits right here hope you understand if you if you get it wrong at this spot you can rewatch this part it's very simple so now we have our video clips lying on, the, on our audio that we've already created this marker so what we want to do now is very simple it's going to be sync all this clip automatic onto the what onto the mark point which is very amazing which we find very difficult to see in any on any other mobile app except this beast note video editing app one thing i love to do is at the very first beginning of the of the beat i want the clips to fade i want to have a fade in transition something like just fading so i don't want the video to just start playing instantly i can just move this a little bit back towards this side good then trim make sure you trim this part this empty part trim it towards comp area so now i have this and as you can see i'm having when i click on it, it's gonna have a empty spaces right here which is gonna create that fade in transition as you can see as you see in my intro so what you want to do now is look at these tools right here this is keyframe and this is keyframe as you can see they are using moving in keyframe when i bring my timeline at this spot right here as you can see at this spot when i click on this it's going to move into the world to the next frame into the world into the next keyframe which are all the marker with that i've set you can see it here right here or you can watch it here as well when i click on it it's going to go into the next keyframe it's going to go into the next keyframe which is very good to what to sync it automatic to sync all my clips automatic into the marking point so what i'm going to be doing now is since i know my first point so now i'm going to be using this keyframe to get the exact point on the what on the beat right there so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be hitting on this keyframe tools it is called keyframe tools i'm going to hit it and go back to the first keyframe as you can see this is the first keyframe all i want to do is what drag my video one and drag it at that spot make sure this is on so that it can able to what to snap as you can see if it's off it's not going to snap towards the reward to the marking point make sure it is on so you can able to what snap towards this as you can see i've snapped towards this which is i've seen this my first clip into the into the beat into the beat so the next thing i want to do is that i want to click on this keyframe again it's going to move automatically as you can see it's moving to the what to the next keyframe automatically without, without me having to start doing it manually it has moved automatic and it's going to be static until i finish my what moving as you can see i'm moving my second clip toward 
towards there as you can see which is automatic and you see it's very automatic and what accurate so what i'm going to be doing next is to click on this and it's going to move towards to the next keyframe uh, to the next marker as you can see it has moved to the next marker my own is just what drag the word so this is how i'm going to be doing for all the clip right there which is very simple as you can see i'm going to move to the next The most amazing thing is that it will stop to stop moving when there is no keyframe to move again it's gonna stop it's gonna stop as you can see where well, i'm just clicking and what's moving my video clips onto the what onto the marking point right there as you can see it's just gonna snap to us because there's a keyframe when you go down as you can see everything is what perfectly what automatic sync to the beat point right there i'm gonna hit on it as well and move my video clip onto my next marking point which will sync my video clips automatic to the beat hope you guys have been gaining value from this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing turn on the bell so you stay notified every time i release a new video as you can see this as well need to be adjusted as you can see right here when i move this keyframe right here it's gonna move in towards the towards the next keyframe right here where i need to move this my 11th clip right there so this is how you can automatic what sync your beats to sync your video clips or your montage onto the video clips if there is a need i'm gonna be still i'm still gonna be showing you if there is a need for you to adjust just make sure you you are watching all of these that i'm doing it's very simple to to achieve so just move all the let me move all the clips towards the world towards all the keyframe you can see i'm moving all this immediately in the keyframes that have the marker has set ends you, you know when you click on this it's not going to be what moving the word your timeline but now i still have more keyframe right there i'm just going to be moving moving so now i have all my clips synced to this so once you just start continue doing this it's going to work moving towards to the last keyframe as you can see it's going to continue moving moving all you need is just to continue dragging your video clips right there but this is i, I think this is okay for this tutorial so i don't want this tutorial to be long so now what you want to do is whenever any part you see that it is not perfectly on the beat so you can just come back and just rearrange it but just undo this and just come click on it and readjust you can readjust as you can see i'm readjusting it i can readjust all the clip to the exact part where i want it to be so this is how you can just continue rearranging your clips if it's not on exact marker but on accurately it's gonna go sit on the beat hit point you've set so the last thing i do is that i applied my color grading lot preset which you can find links to it in my video description so i apply my color grading onto this onto these video clips right here and let me show so let me show you how everything look like but before i show you how everything look like please be sure to support this channel and turn on the bell stay notified every time i release a new video and as well you can follow me on my social media instagram at isotolani if you want to send me a message or reach out to me or, or show me some example which you want me to know and see so i can make tutorial about and please be sure to leave me a comment as well what you think about this tutorial and as always i'll see you in the next video so stay safe and be blessed so enjoy the rest of the video bye for now